this is some little advice for the girls if you end up finding out that your man has been cheating on you or whatever the case may be i know like sometimes our first reaction is to like go on the internet and like blast him or like post these little sad quotes and he fumbled me and this that the other and get on some of y'all get on live and start airing all the business out but i want to give you some different a different approach what do you mean by that act unbothered like literally act very unbothered like when you find out that he has been betraying you or whatever he did act like he like he doesn't exist okay guys let me decipher this just a little bit what she is doing right now she's giving advice but it has a twist she's giving advice that sounds like it comes from a, a male pickup artist so basically what she's trying to do and tell women to do is use reverse psychology on men that's that's the vibe that i'm getting but let's continue act like he died literally don't even acknowledge him don't go on instagram posting those sad quotes and pictures and memes all that sad stuff y'all post thinking that he's gonna read it and, and his feelings are gonna be hurt he's gonna be like i'm so sorry he's not doing that okay don't do that don't go on social media you know what i'm saying going on live airing your entire embarrassing ass relationship to us keep it to yourself you know act unbothered literally move on with your life and act like he never even existed what what you need to be posting is yourself working out at your yoga class, at your Pilates class, at your gym, getting your body right and tight. What you need to be posting is like the books you're reading, yourself at really nice restaurants, enjoying your friend's company or whatever, having a drink, looking really cute. No relationship quotes, no relationship memes, not no, nothing. Don't post nothing about no relationship, period, point blank. You know, I think that that's true for all men and women, for both men and women. I don't think that you should be airing out your uh, relationships on social media. But women do this because women are always looking for sympathy from other women. They they, they crave it. it. And that's why they do it all the time. Just be honest. And they want to know that they're not the only person in that situation. Like I always say, misery loves company. So that's why they do it. Act like he literally didn't exist do you know how confused that man is gonna be like because that's not the normal reaction a woman is gonna have a woman is gonna be crying and you fumbled me and posting all these sad quotes that he doesn't care when you act like he didn't even exist or act unbothered he's gonna be sitting at home like did she ever even care about me and see that's just games though See, that's not going to put you in a place that's going to be beneficial to you because now you're not being honest and you're playing games. There's nothing wrong with expressing yourself, but instead of, you know, posting, you know, memes and, and videos crying and all that, just call the person and talk to them. See, playing games in response to somebody hurting your feelings is not a good thing. You know, two wrongs don't make a right. It's not going to pan out well. And you're just cheating yourself. The minute you stop being who you truly are as, you know, yourself is the minute you're cheating yourself. That is going to get under his skin. That is going to confuse him. Not your typical basic stuff that y'all be doing. Literally confuse the enemy. Okay? And literally move on and do better. That's bullshit. If it's if, if what he did is a non-negotiable for you, stop looking for closure. Stop looking for whys and what happened and what went wrong. Move on with your life. Find somebody better. Level up. So you're not he's not even your type anymore. By the time you're done working on yourself, that's not even your type anymore. He can't even afford to be with you anymore. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Give me a favor, please. Get out of here. He can't afford to be with you anymore. You see that? He can't afford. See, a lot of you ladies, you're putting values, values on the wrong thing. It's not about, you know, getting on there to prove something to anyone. If somebody is not a good fit for you, they're just not. Just move on. 
Why continue to play games? Oh, I got to show this person. For what? You're just playing games. And you think a lot of men don't understand what you're doing, but a lot of men do. A lot of men can see through that. We can see that you're just manipulating. A lot of men have heard, heard this before. I don't want a relationship. I don't want anything. I just want to focus on me and focus on my children and focus on my career. And then men find out that they're out there in the streets. That's what you need to do, okay? Not the sad, typical, basic stuff. So, I'm just tired of seeing the... Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if you play games, you're going to have shitty results. So, I wouldn't take this advice... I would take the, what she said about posting and stuff like that. You know, that's that's not going to do nothing for you. And ladies, you have to understand, you can post a million times a day. You, you're crying, your memes and all that. Women don't typically click, care. They don't. They don't really care. They will tell you that they do. Just like they will tell you that you have a nice outfit on. Or they will tell you that your makeup looks great. Or they will champion just bad behavior in general. They're not going to tell you the truth. So why even get on social media doing all that looking for them to tell you the truth? They're really just not. Even her. If you listen to what she says, she's giving you nuggets of the truth. But then more big nuggets of manipulation. She doesn't really care about you. She doesn't. One reason she did this video is so she could get attention. Look, she has her best filter on and everything else, right? It's going to give her attention, right? She's going to get attention from women bashing her, mad at her. Some women might ag agree. And some men are going to see it just like me. That is what she wants, right? So be careful who you take advice from. And as far as social media, everybody don't need to know your business. When you put yourself, I'm gonna tell you this from a man's perspective, last thing. When I see a woman do stuff like that, memes, crying and all that, it just tells me she has no control, none. No control, no discipline, none. Because if you can get on social media in front of people that you don't even know by the millions and blast thing, things about your relationship, what else are you doing when it comes to your relationships? That means that you have no problem sharing every single little detail with everybody that you come across with. Damn right. Yeah. Men don't like that. Men don't respect that. Because we know that women are highly influenced by other women. That's my take on this video. You guys let me know what you think about this. Again, it's just my opinion. I could be totally wrong or you might not agree with me. It is what it is. But let me know what you think because I'm always curious about that. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.